More than a dozen dogs from the area of those wildfires are now here in the state line. Reporter Dolly McCarthy joins us to explain why. Many rescue shelters are overflowing near the devastation with abandoned and rescued dogs, and there's just not enough room to handle them all. That's when one local dog rescue operation sprang into action. Meet Polar. He's a six-month-old Siberian Husky. He's also lovable and easygoing, but his life so far has been anything but easy. Polar, along with 16 other Huskies, were rescued after the California wildfires left shelters there overcrowded. They were in the shelters, and the shelter personnel were going to euthanize them to make space for the dogs that would be loose running around after the fires. The Huskies are now at the Free Spirit Siberian Rescue in Harvard, which helped facilitate their rescue, including their 2,000-mile journey by bus. They met a whole bunch of volunteers along the way, Pretty much in every state, um, other Husky rescues stepped up and helped us out, you know, walking and meeting them, even at 2.30 in the morning. Kisses? Oh, yeah. Karen Ferrari Miller has been running the Husky shelter for the past 14 years. Since then, she's taken in some 1,500 of them and places about 150 Huskies a year into loving homes. The Huskies will call this five-acre shelter home at least until they're cleaned up and seen by a vet, and then they'll be ready for adoption. As for Polar and the rest of the pack, Ferrari Miller believes they will be placed in loving homes fast. But in the meantime, the Huskies appear to be doing just fine, surrounded by volunteers taking care of them around the clock. A much easier life deserving of any dog. It's a happy ending for them because they will have their own family. They will have their kids to love. They will have their own bed to sleep in, their own food, everything. Car rides. It'll be super. The Free Spirit Siberian Rescue is a not-for-profit. They rely on donations, fundraising, and adoption fees. But you can help the effort by logging on to their website at huskyrescue.org to make your own donation. And if you're interested in adopting one of those Huskies, there's an application process online that you can check out as well on that same site. Mimi and Nick. Oh, beautiful.